All right, today we're gonna adjust the valves on the Skag. Uh, it's a little noisy to my trained ear. I'll show you a video in a second. But let me start out by saying this is not an instructional video on how to adjust valves. There's plenty of those already on YouTube. I suggest you consult the service manual, and if this is above your head, uh, take it to your nearest dealer. Speaking of dealers, I contacted the, the dealer I bought this from. It's still under warranty, but they didn't seem too enthused about taking it in to adjust the valves. So I just did it on my own, bought the gaskets, got the OEM Kawasaki gaskets. And that dealer didn't seem too enthused or, you know, about <laughs> selling a, a new Skag either. And uh, even the dealer, the other dealer that I bought the Tiger Cat from that leaked, they, I reached out to them twice to see if they wanted to sell another one and they're, they're ignoring me. So we'll just scratch them off the list. That's okay, no big deal. If they don't want my 10 grand, I'll, I'll go spend it somewhere else. Anyways, onto the Patriot here. You guys know that I purchased this uh, a couple years ago and then I sold it to a friend and he's kind enough to let me borrow it and work on it and maintain it. And I told him, I said, something doesn't sound right in here. So I want to get under the covers and, and check. So let's uh, see what we can find. Valve cover is removed, gaskets removed, and we're going to inspect the valves here. Uh, you heard at the beginning of this video, you know, Kawasaki's make a little noise, but there's a little tick on this one. Something's up, so I suspect one of these valves are loose, so we're going to check it right now. Hmm, that's not good. So this is going to be hard to see, but basically I've got a 9 thou here, it specs at 4 thou. This is the uh, exhaust one, and I, there's no way I can get that in there. So again, this is over twice as thick as it should be. So this, this is set properly. If you go up to this intake valve, I was hearing that ticking in the earlier part of the video, and my gut told me that one of these rockers was loose. If you look at the intake valve here, it just slides right in. Actually, that's that's probably about nine thou because I can I can leave it in there and just let it rest. And there's a good amount of slip, so almost <laughs> over double out of spec. So we're gonna tighten her up. Of course, we're under compression here. Top dead center. Plugs are removed. Remove the the screen up top so you can turn the motor freely. So under compression stroke. Uh, use the straw technique, you know, just put a straw in here and where the piston comes up and then just rock it back and forth and and you, and you can also tell because you can spin, I know it's hard to see, but you can spin the push rods very freely and you can wiggle these and you can you can tell that the tension is off completely. So that's how you check the valve. So they actually, the, they recommend you to use a tooth owl when setting these. That's because there's still some slop when you move the feeler gauge in and out, so it actually will wind up being four thousandths, and uh, six thousandths is as high as they want you to go. So I'm probably just going to gap them at four, just because I know what to feel for in these. Set them both. Got new gaskets. Uh, jack the end of this up. Jack, jack the, the raise the ass end up a little bit. Keep some of the oil in the pan. Otherwise, you do this on a flat surface and you pull this valve cover, it's just going to continuously leak out. You'll get some leakage, as you see here. Put some shop towels there. You'll get a little on the muffler. You can wipe it all down, start it up. Once this heats up, it'll smoke a little, but that's pretty much all normal. So, yeah, 80 hours on a Kawasaki FX691. And I heard the, the ticking sound that is not known uh, or not normal for my trained ear. Kawasaki's have a little unique sound to them but uh, this this was definitely the culprit so I'm gonna button this all back up check the other side I'll report in on that side in just a second button it all up go uh, top it off with oil and do a little test run here all right got a fourth thou exhaust valve just a little bit of friction in there and this one intake just the same 
I can put this thing in there and let go of it. If I wiggle it, the weight of it, it'll it'll come out. But it'll it'll hold itself in there with the four. So that's what you want. All right, this side was pretty good. I almost did not touch this one, but I went back in. There's a four. So that's the the intake and the exhaust. And get it in there. There we go. That's that's a little bit looser. The exhaust is probably a tiny bit looser than the intake. Just how I roll. Um, they're both set. You know, this this was good, but I wanted to to make them match the other side. So I know that it's equal, and when I fire it up, I can hear what it sounds like, and if there's any sort of noise or something. Hopefully there's no more noise, but we're going to find out. Hopefully it's adjusted correctly. All the valve guides look good and everything looks really good. The oil's clean. Uh, I scraped off all the edge uh, with a very soft wire brush. Uh, I think it's brass or something. Very, very soft. And uh, just get some of the gasket material out of there. Clean it all up. Wipe it all down. And do the same for the valve cover here. Put a new gasket on and again top it off with oil and fired up. So here we go. Listen to this baby purr now. Sounds good. <laughs> 